Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to leverage an Excel file to populate data into a text object in LabelView 2018 Gold. So let's get started here. First, we're going to take a look at the Excel file so we can check out the data we're going to be importing. And as you can see, I have a header row that has the name counter in it, followed by a consecutive numbering running down the file. Okay, and remember counter, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Alrighty, close that out, and let's proceed here. So, I'm going to select a text object, and I'm going to be using the wizard to do this. So I'll select the wizard, and I'll click on the page to place the object. Brings me into the wizard, and for data source, I'm going to drop down this menu and select create new variable. Okay, uh, the type of variable is going to be database, so I've selected that, and I click on next. Now for here, um, select connection to an existing data source. I'm going to click new for a new data source. And we're using an Excel file, so it's going to be Excel. I'm going to have to name it. Okay, and I'll hit next. And I'm going to select my data file here. So I'll click on Browse. Browse to my data file. And click on Open and click finish. Okay, now when I get to this point I'm going to need to select counter and now if you recall back um, that was the header uh, the header field in the database so that counter that is actually gleaning that off of our data file. Okay, so with that said I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. You do note that we have our data source selected here by default and I'll click on finish here and I'll click on finish here okay now we can test our work so I'm gonna go to print get into the print dialog box and in order to preview this properly I need to select all the records and from the print preview let's click on that I'll scale that down a little bit and it's looking good here. We've got page 1 of 40, and let's just start paging through. These will be uh, the next page for printing out of the printer. And as you can see, it's incrementing the number based upon the Excel file. And that, my friends, is how you do it. So thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.